focus on Iran this hour as an Iranian official has now claimed that the mysterious blast at Iran's Natanz nuclear facility last month was the result of sabotage. Iranian officials said that the fire in Natanz had caused significant damage that could slow the development of advanced uranium enrichment centrifuges. And the statement comes after a number of fires and explosions at power facilities and other sites over the last few weeks were reported in Iran. The spokesman for Iran's atomic energy organization said, and I quote, the explosion at Natanz nuclear facility was a result of sabotage operations and security authorities will reveal in due time the reason behind the blast. The July 2nd explosion, which many reports have attributed to Israel or the United States, damaged an advanced centrifuge development and assembly plant. It has been reported to have significantly set back Iran's nuclear program. An article by Iran's state news agency Irna, in July addressed what it called the possibility of sabotage by enemies such as Israel and the United States. Although it stopped short of accusing either directly, the report did not rule out the possibility that a cyber attack was used to cause a malfunction that led to the explosion. Tقریباً بر اساس اجماع نظر کارشناسان زیرابت علت حادثه با یک اجماع نظری در حال تکمیل هست. دیدگاه مختلف بود ولی علت دیگه در حال تکمیل هست با اجماع نظر. The Natanz uranium enrichment site, much of which is underground, is one of several Iranian facilities monitored by inspectors of the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, the United Nations nuclear watchdog. Al Natanz, about 250 kilometers south of the capital Tehran, is Iran's largest uranium enrichment facility. Earlier this month, a report by the International Atomic Energy Agency concluded that Iran was attempting to boost uranium enrichment at the plant. If true, the move would be in violation of a 2015 nuclear deal Iran signed with several world powers. Iran began rolling back its commitments to the 2015 nuclear deal after U.S. President Donald Trump abandoned the nuclear accord and reinstated crippling economic sanctions on Iran. On Saturday, IAEA's new chief, Rafael Grossi, announced he would visit Tehran on Monday to request the access to two suspected former nuclear sites. The IAEA said it suspects activities related to the development of nuclear weapons that were carried out in the earlier 2000s at these sites. Iran has previously insisted its nuclear program is not intended for military use. Officials have also denied that Grossi's visit is related to moves by the United States at the UN Security Council to reimpose international sanctions on Tehran.